Yeah, it's me. Uh, what can you tell me about this Arthur G. Wells guy? Yeah, I took the case. I'm walking down a one-way dead street now. There's no turning back. Cut the fucking crap. Give me the goods. Alright, that's putting it lightly. Alright, you're telling me things I already know. So you're saying the killer had, had to know him on a very personal level. Mrs. Wells, how you doing? Come in. Please, call me Charlotte. So what'd your man have to say? Ah, he didn't pick up. I'll try again later. Please, isn't there anything I can do to help? It is. Mrs. Wells, I would like to go back to your husband's office one, another time. You've already been there. Everyone at the house is upset enough that Arthur's dead. Sending more cops will just upset them further. Why do you need to go back? Mrs. Wells, let me break it down for you. I'm trying to solve a crime here, and your husband's office is the scene of the crime. Please, detective, call me Charlotte. All right, Charlotte. Can you phone ahead to your staff and let them know that me and my partner were coming through to your husband's office again? If you insist. No, hey, hey, I gotta talk to my partner. Use the phone out in the lobby, all right? All right. What is it, Howie? Something smells fishy about this broad. Seems all right to me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you're looking at her legs and her ass. I talked to my informant. This Mr. Wells guy always had people around. Whoever did this was someone very close to him. We gotta go back to that office, have another look around. All right, what are you trying to head over there? Right now. What are we gonna find here that we didn't find last time? I don't know, so look around. Look for something that looks like it don't belong to Mr. Wells, but rather one of his other acquaintances. office. Tell him to meet me in my office. Go, hurry!
Wells. Didn't expect to see you here. I told you, Howard. Call me Charlotte. All right, Charlotte. I know what you did. I don't know what you mean. I found the burnt up will in the ashtray in the office. I saw that the old man cut you out. Probably found out you were sleeping around with other guys. He cut you out of this will, mm -hmm. you killed him. Yeah, I killed him. I killed him for the money and I killed him for Henry. No. Oh. Henry, it's funny that uh, he didn't end up with either one of them. I guess that's how life works sometimes, eh? Life? What life? That our house was more of a prison than that tin can you plan on sending me to will ever be. Well, sweetheart, the fact is, you killed Wells. You might not be losing a lot of sleep over this, but you'll be losing a lot of time sitting in the jailhouse. Hey, it'd be a shame if they choose to hang you. To see that pretty neck of yours get stretched. Or maybe they'll let you out on good behavior. Wait. Henry? Smart, Howie. Henry, you just want smart enough. 